Hey guys, welcome back to the Wallen Homestead. My name is Tiffany and I'm coming to you from Michigan. Today is February 28th, 2021. It's the last day of February. I'm so excited. I'm ready for March. I'm ready to get through March of all, being completely honest, but I'm, it feels like we're going, we're going into spring, so I'm excited about that. Um, this is podcast episode 92 and you can find me on Instagram as the woolen homestead. Um, and we have an email for the podcast, which is the woolen homestead at gmail.com. There is a PO box for the podcast and all of that information, um, can be found below in the description box. Um, this week, what I'm going to talk about is a finished object. Um, I have two works in progress that I'm going to share. I have one acquisition that I forgot to show last time. And then I'll also go over what I'm reading. So, um, and then a little bit of life chat at the end. So I finished the Winston pullover. So this is what I'm wearing. Um, this is a pattern by Jean Richmond. I'll see if I can get a good shot of this. So this is what the sweater looks like. Um, I did the sleeves a little shorter than I meant to, um, but I like it. I, I don't hate it. It's kind of bracelet length. Um, I'm a big fan. So yeah, it's mostly marled. Actually, the whole thing's marled. I don't know why I said mostly. The whole thing is marled. Um, that was a modification that I did. And the other modification that I did that Jane recommends on her blog is the funnel neck. So I'll go over more of what I did. So the pattern is originally written for a super bulky yarn. Um, held by itself and what I did was I wanted to stash bust some worsted weight so I held four strands of worsted weight together super fun I got through so much yarn I don't remember how much I was really bummed that I didn't keep track of how much yarn I used but it was a lot so I'm really really excited about that um as far as the color management, I just kind of went with it. Um, it's top down. So I started with this blue chunk here and I was going to do it more fady. And then I just didn't want to care and have to worry about figuring it out. So then I had a ton of this really light Robin's egg blue. It's let lopy. And um, so I started to incorporate that and then just use that throughout the rest of it. And then just that kind of tied it all in together. So it didn't really matter what else I held with it. And I had a ton of this like royal blue, um, actually kind of like a navy blue that I used throughout too. So I kind of like it. It looks like it has like a little color block to it. Um, but yeah, it's, it's wonderful. It's super warm. Um, I made it with the intention of throwing it on... Um, in the middle of winter, you know, when it's super cold, even in the house, like it's just hard to stay warm. Um, kind of like what we just got through today. It's like 47, <laughs> almost 50 degrees out, I think. Um, still super nice to wear outside, but, um, I just, I always get super chilly in the house. So I wanted to have a nice, really thick sweater to wear. Um, it's knit on size US 17 needles, which was super crazy but super fun. And then the ribbing is done in US 11. Now for the, the collar, she only, um, has you do, I think it's like an inch and a half of ribbing. Um, and then she put a modification on her blog for a funnel neck. Cause I actually knit this twice. I did what the pattern said. And then for me, it was just a little too wide. I didn't want it super, super wide. Um, and then I also found out at that time I had added, two stitches, which on a super bulky yarn, you know, is about an inch <laughs> more um, of space. So I ripped the neckband back out. I would have had this done the night before last. Um, and then I got the right number of stitches and then I decided to do the funnel neck because um, I wanted to have it more closed. So it's not even like a turtle neck even. It's, it's perfect. I love it. So the only modification I think I would do, where did I put my book? Here it is. Um, I think what I would do next time, I think I would knit the body just a little bit longer for my taste. Um, I just feel like it's just a touch too short, but like I said, I, I plan on just kind of wearing it around the house, um, you know, to go bring in the dogs real quick um, when they're outside, things like that. Um, I maybe would do the arms a little longer, but I actually really like this. I like that they're not super long and in my way, so I'm not really upset about that at all. 
Um, <laughs> oh, some of the yarns that I use. So I said there's Let Low Be. There was also Nature Spun. Um, there was a Lamb's Pride and Patents. And except for the Let Low Be and the Patents, all of those were like all slightly different colors. So I had a couple different colors of Nature Spun. I had a couple different colors of Lamb's Pride. So yeah, really enjoyable. I started this back in like late summer, I think maybe early fall and I could have gotten this done so fast. I just never worked on it. I just kind of had it around, but it was like kind of on the back burner for a while. And then after, um, last week's podcast, well, I think around Christmas, I started working on it again. And that last week's podcast or last time it was the beginning of February. I was like, I want to try and have this done ASAP because it would be a nice and it would be a quick finish and it would just be nice to have finished object and just to get it done and so I can use it a little bit before it gets to spring. My hands cramped a little bit when I was working on it for a little while but um, I feel like they got used to it so it worked out really well. Um, but yeah I think that's all I've got to say about that. It's just the Winston Pullover by Jane, Rich by Jane Richmond. I think I would also like to try it in just a single strand just to see. Um, and I would make sure that you do a gauge swatch. I did swatch for this. Um, I know that she had posted about holding a couple strands of worsted together for her and she only needed three. So I would definitely check around with, um, gauge and things like that to see what would work for you. Um, so I have two works in progress that I want to show. Um, one is my heel, do heel toe do si do socks by Kay Litton. And I've got them right here. And I feel like these are on their way to being done. So last time I shared these, I was on the heel flap. My little Hedwig Owl from Simply Serving. And this is the Hufflepuff colorway from Mint Rain Hand Dyed Yarns. And yeah, I'm onto the foot. So that's super exciting. Um, I'm really excited to have these as a pair to wear. Yeah, it's super enjoyable. I love how this pattern ends up. I love the chevrons. Super, super fun. I'm using um, High High Sharps. This might just be the High Highs. I never remember. Um, but these are size US 1. And yeah, love this pattern. I really want to do another one um, in self-striping for these or even if it's um, not like super self-striping, but kind of like just stripes up like a opal or something like that. That would be really fun to use it on, I think. But um, yeah, I really, really love these. Um, it's a heel flap and gusset. I love how that fits. I got the first one done already. I actually just followed her pattern exactly as written. So really, really love it. I've got another... Um, pattern of hers that I want to do the morning coffee socks I actually have it all printed out I have some yarn sitting out for it I don't know if that's what I'm going to use it's one of um our old colorways in the Tonks thinking about it but yeah I don't know There's so many so many fun yarns that I want to work with oh, so excited um another project that I'm working on I'm so excited about as well um I stopped working on these for quite a while um, are my Mitten Garland Advent Calendar by Kathy Lewinsky. Loving this. I have been working on these um, for 30 minutes a day every morning, and I'm really seeing progress. So I'll show you my first two, because these I've had done for a while. So this is one and two. There are 24 of them. <laughs> And I'm almost done with three. So that's why I'm really liking these for my 30 minutes of knitting in the morning, which is another um, Kay Litton Crazy Sock Lady um, thing that I have picked up on. It's just a really nice way to start your day. Um, every morning, get your 30 minutes in, guarantees you some knitting time, and it's been really fun to do this. So I really... Um, gotten along on these sock or on this um mitten with doing that it's just so fun this little thumb right there i'm using high high sharps these i know are the sharps um and this is from a two at a time sock <laughs> sock needle that i'd used before but 
not really a big two at a time fan, so now I use it for color work um, if I'm using size US 1. And the yarn that I'm using is Knit Picks Palette, which is what is recommended. Um, it's what is recommended in the pattern. And I don't remember the color names, but it's the colors that she recommended. <laughs> so um, these are the three colors that I'm working on now. I've got it housed in this amazing yarn bowl that my brother-in-law made me for Christmas two years ago. And this is the same brother-in-law that made me um, the mugs and plates that I've shown before. And I actually have one of his mugs up here because I've got some tea steeping. This is one of his mugs too. And then I got my little, <laughs> um, oh my gosh, I can't think of the word. Oh my God, I can't think of the word. Infuser? Is that the right word? But you guys know what I'm talking about, my little loose leaf tea basket. <laughs> but, uh, and the tea that I'm drinking is called vanilla cappuccino. It's still too hot to drink because I just just poured it um but it is from david's tea it's from my advent calendar that i had um at christmas and it smells so good i love vanilla coffee it's one of my favorites just simple plain vanilla coffee it's so good and put some creamer in it love it so yeah that is the mitten advent calendar uh, by kathy lewinsky i really want to have those for this year i I hope I can do it. Um, I've had those going for like three years, so it's gonna, <laughs> we'll see. We shall see. I, I just think it'd be so fun to have. And I like that they're just little, you know, it's really nice for that 30 minutes of knitting in the morning because you can make a lot of progress pretty quickly. So that's been kind of nice. Wow, I am like running through this. I'm sorry guys, this might be a quick one this week. We'll see. Um, I have an acquisition that I got last time but forgot to show. So this is actually from my mom. She brought me this um, and one for my sister when we met up with her in early February. So it's Valentine's themed. It's a little mug rug. Isn't that sweet? And ignore the coffee stain that I already got on it. <laughs> Just means it's been well loved. <laughs> but isn't that sweet? if you can see the lace around the heart there we go so sweet so I love this I love mug rugs I'm actually also using one of my mom's coasters as well she gave me these so I love that stuff um so yeah that's something I forgot to show last time um currently reading so I finished Don't Overthink It by Ann Bogle. I shared that audiobook on the last podcast. And then I've always got Farmer Boy by Laura Ingalls Wilder going in the background. I, I think I've been reading that for a year. I just pick it up really randomly. Um, I'm much better with audio because I'm always up doing something. Where with, if I'm sitting, I'm usually knitting. So picking up a physical book, I haven't really gotten into a a routine of sitting and reading so I really want to get better about that I remember last year I really wanted to just read the whole Little House series when we were in um when I was on furlough and I did I didn't so I finished one of them and then I started Farmer Boy it's I'm almost done with it I actually have it right here um oh I can show you the bookmark I have too so that's where I'm at I'm almost done with it but this is an old bookmark, but this is from, um, let's see if we can get that to focus, there we go, but yeah, this is a little Laura Ingalls Wilder life <laughs> bookmark um, from, oh, we went to Walnut Grove in Minnesota and they had a little, um, like a little museum and shop there too, we actually were at um, like the, the site of where she lived, um, in Plum Creek. So that was really cool. It was really, really cool. I was, I think I was in sixth grade when we went, so it was a long time ago, but, um, I would love to go back there again and any of the other, um, 
any of the other places. Um, oh, and then my current audiobook is The Duke and I by Julia Quinn. That's part of the Bridgerton series. I started watching the show a couple, maybe a month ago. Um, I haven't finished it yet, but once I found out there was a book series, I was like, oh, I want to read it. So I'm almost done with the first season, though, that's on Netflix. I'll probably just finish it. Um, but yeah, really enjoying that so far. And that's it for what I'm reading. I would love to hear what you guys are reading. If you want to leave that in a comment, um, if you are reading anything right now. Um, I think I mentioned this last time too. Um, Ann Bogle, who's the author of Don't Overthink It, she has a podcast, uh, audio podcast called What Should I Read Next? And I love that podcast. That's where I get a lot of my book recommendations from. It's really, really good. Um, so life chat. Um, it's starting to warm up, so that is very exciting. It's polar vortex level last time we spoke. Um, I think it's, let's see, it's 43 out, so I'm supposed to get up to like 50 today. I don't know if it's going to happen. I'm kind of bummed. Um, I was expecting it when they said it was going to be 50 on Sunday. I was expecting it to be like sunny, super nice out. It's, it's just overcast and kind of glum, but at least it's warming up. Like, so happy about that. I gave the dogs a bath last night. <laughs> this is my exciting, <laughs> exciting world. But um, <laughs> I, uh, they needed it desperately. And Benny was really starting to blow his coat. So Benny's our lab. And um, he is the one that has Addison's disease. And ever since we found out he's had that, he had a big coat change where he was just shedding excessively, almost like a husky. And oh my gosh. So I noticed that he was starting to really like Clump up and stuff was kind of coming out so I said okay we're gonna give you a good brush out and give you a bath and I um, got a, um, like a handheld blow dryer like a pet blow dryer so it's more powerful than a hair dryer for humans but um, I got one for Christmas from my in-laws and so I, I locked us all in the bathroom and I just dried them in there and um, so I was trying to contain the fur but oh my gosh it made a mess such a mess. Such a mess. I wore a mask while I was blow drying because I didn't want to like, inhale all the hair because I knew what was going to happen. And um, it was awful. <laughs> but super nice to have it all off of him. He is still shedding a little bit. Um, I didn't get all of the coat out with the blow drying. I need to do another brush out post bath. Um, but yeah, I <laughs> they're both up here. You, I don't know if you can hear them snoring. You probably can but they're both up here Ethan's downstairs sleeping so that's why I'm a little more whispery even though he's like downstairs on the other side of the house but I just always worry him and wake him up he's um he works uh overnight so um <laughs> dogs are so funny so yeah um what else do I have yeah they both got a bath they both need their nails done I'm hoping to do that tonight um been playing Animal Crossing still. For those of you who don't know, it's a game for the Nintendo Switch. It's been really relaxing. I just, so super chill. Been really enjoying that. Um, let's see. Oh, yes. So a lot of the background that I have here um, was a surprise for me. So, <laughs> so sweet. Ethan bought a bunch of decorations and then put them up for me in my craft room up here as a way to like make it like a really nice sanctuary just to come and hang out and you know de-stress after work um we were even talking about like come up here leave my phone downstairs you know and just kind of be able to check out after a busy day of work um so I'll I'll have to take some video because it's so sweet he strung the lights he went to Hobby Lobby he went to a bunch of different places and just bought like those little plants up there they're fake plants they're not real plants because I can't keep anything alive and there's not a ton of sun up here <laughs> but um yeah oh so sweet and that little wax warmer right there I got that as a Christmas gift from a client so that was sweet and then um I had that basket and then he put some uh, plants in there and he strung the lights and so sweet I had been talking and talking about wanting to decorate up here but I had no idea what to do like I was at a complete 
standstill and I was getting so frustrated about it and I was so bummed. I was, like, I, I was talking about it a lot and I just, I didn't know what to do and one night after work last week, he, I come home and he said, hey, can you grab one of, um, one of these cords from upstairs for me? I was like, okay. So I come upstairs and I walk in the room and he's got the wax warmer going so it smells amazing. The lights are on. Um, he got some really cute, like, um, like little art to put on the wall and so sweet. I love it. I love it up here. It's so cozy and just relaxing. Got me new curtains and just kind of tied it together for me. So that was such a such a nice surprise and I love being up here. It's just a nice little yarn cave. <laughs> so yeah, I will I'll take some video and show you guys. I can put it here at the end so you can see. Um but yeah, I hope you guys are doing well. Um it's Scrappy Sunday, also another crazy sock lady um Thing that she does and so I haven't done Scrappy Sunday in a while I usually either forget and I just start working on something else or just have to work so today I'm I'm off work and um, yeah I'm I'm excited I want to work on my Battenberg blanket so crochet blanket really want to work on that I think that's what I'm gonna get out next so I'm super excited to have this finished this was kind of scrappy this you know marled um, you know, it's, that wasn't mini skeins, but I, oh, I just love this. So I feel good working about this on Scrappy Sunday. I just finished it today, right before I recorded this. So yeah, I'm super happy. Um, I'm pretty busy at work doing a lot of training. So that's exciting, very rewarding. Um, but that's definitely kept me busy. So, um, yeah, I'm hoping, hoping to get a bit of knitting done over the next couple weeks and Get excited about spring. I want to do my nails. I want to do that today. My, I love doing color street nails. Love those so much. If you, so I don't sell them or anything, but I just love them. Um, if you ever tried Jamberry nails, I think these are way better than that. Those ones are more like a sticker and these are nail polish. It's actual nail polish that you can like put it on you can lift it up and move it around where you want it and then you just like press it down and tear it off and that's it <laughs> so easy I love them so so much so yeah that's my my biggie um yes I think I'm gonna do I might do my nails tonight we'll see we'll see um gonna get ready for St. Patrick's Day which will probably I probably work it. I don't even remember what day of the week it is, but usually we eat something St. Patrick's Day like, <laughs> like Rubens, something like that. Oh, sounds really good. So maybe we'll do something like that. But I should talk to you guys before then. Fingers crossed. Um, yeah, I haven't drank any of my tea. I should probably <laughs> drink some of that. It's probably nice and steeped by now. But um, yeah, I hope you guys are well. Um, yeah, let me know how you guys are doing, and, um, yeah, I will talk to you guys in a couple weeks. Okay, right, see ya. So here is my sweet, sweet little craft room. My puppy's passed out on the futon. <laughs> so there's a little corner over here to sit. That's where I, um, that was the chair I was using to podcast from today. <laughs> And then he put the mirror in the corner, which I thought was super cute. I loved that. I've got a basket of, um, on the bottom there, that's a basket of to-be-started projects, <laughs> like next up ones. Um, the black bag has my Brio Chevron blanket. Um, this is where all my whips are currently. Um, ignore that little mess at the landing. That's all the stuff that I need to take downstairs. <laughs> um, but... I've got all my projects in here that are current works in progress. And then he got this really cool piece. Put that up. There was a mirror there originally, and now that one's over in the corner, so that's really cool. But he got these lights, which I love. And he got the pillows. I had the, um, it's just a sheet on there just to help with the Benny hair. <laughs> 
Um, so the dogs have kind of <laughs> messed with that a bit, but <laughs> I'm so tired. Um, I already had this um, ottoman, and so the pink pillows were perfect. I already had the gray sheet on there, so the pink and gray go perfect together. I picked up this um, little rug, some more plants. My aunt gave me that little sheepy. And I really like these little pieces of art. And they're so cute. There's one other one that he got too. And I got those baskets at Aldi. I love those. And then my warmer got me this sweet little flowers. And I have my nitography. Um Oh my goodness, mitten blocker and sock blockers, I cannot think of the word. And then I have this really sweet plate. Um, this is really sweet. Um, my dad actually bought this for Ethan and I as a wedding present. Um, my dad actually passed away three months before our wedding, so my mom wrapped this and brought this to our wedding, and it's so sweet because it's just like Benny and Ella when they were just babies at the time. Now they're almost 10. <laughs> so that's one of my very, very precious items that I have. Because my dad never got to give it to me, but I know that it was picked out especially for us. You know, it's super sweet. Um, Ethan also got these really cute flowers to put up over the window, and I love the... Um, the curtains that he bought too. So pretty. And my books. And he got this too, which is really cute. Got a little stack of old books that I I just love old books. <laughs> I think this one and this one were from an antique shop. This one was my grandma's. This was mine. And I think this, my mom gave me this as well. I think that was my grandma's as well. And then some teacups and some yarn. I have it in plastic bags at the moment. I kind of went through a thing where I wanted everything in plastic. Um, I'll probably take those out eventually, but <laughs> right now they're in plastic bags. And then another little plant. And he got this really sweet burlap cloth too to go on here. A record player. Sweet little mirror. I really like this one too that he got. Those are so my colors. He he knows me really well. <laughs> I love it. This is a sewing table. It's my darning sock area. <laughs> it's holding all the stuff I need to do. And winding my yarn, sewing machine. Oh, and that's the yarn for the um, morning coffee socks that I think I'm gonna use. And then he also got these cute little items to put on the wall too. <laughs> So that is my sweet little crafting area. I love it so much. Um, it's so nice to come up here. I was so thankful that he did that because it just, it was exactly what I would have wanted. So sweet. So he's a good man. <laughs> All right, guys, I will talk to you later. Hope you enjoyed seeing my little crafty area. <laughs> I'll talk to you later. Bye.